Hi there, I'm Michael Posnick with Century 21 Northumberland Real Estate here in Prince Edward Island, Canada. And today, this is part five of our multi-part series on why you should look at and drop by Sunbury Cove Estates. All the information, by the way, can be found at sunburycove.com and make sure you join the mailing list. Uh, today we're going to discuss the history behind the project and the history behind the property. Um, essentially, Sunbury Cove, which only opened in 2007, was a, a product of a client of mine. His name is Bill Harnett. And uh, essentially, Bill is a, a very high quality builder from British Columbia. He's built hundreds of homes in British Columbia, Alberta, and uh, in New Brunswick. And he moved to PEI for our fabulous uh, golfing, beaches, and other amenities. And his initial idea was to come here, build one house a year, and, uh, and retire. And uh, he's been here for about eight years, and I met him uh, when he first moved here. And Bill has basically uh, filled a, a huge need in the real estate market over the last eight years. And what that is, is building quality waterfront homes uh, in and around Summerside and Charlottetown. The problem that Bill ran into is at one point, he ran out of land. Uh, and unfortunately, we'd have to go further and further and further away from Summerside or Charlottetown to find uh, land for him to build on. So basically, I told him he could build houses that were really, really tough to sell in areas people didn't want them in, or he could look at some acreage and uh, possibly develop his own uh, luxury community. And that's what we did. But rather than just taking him out by himself, what I did is I took him out and uh, probably another half dozen or so people from the states and Canada because I wanted an unbiased opinion on the properties we were going to look at. Uh, we looked at a, a large number of properties all over the island and at the end of the day Sunbury Cove Estates won hands down. There's no comparison. Uh, in fact it's kind of interesting that I'm just getting back from a showing at Sunbury Cove Estates and the gentleman showed up in a helicopter and he indicated to me that he had picked Sunbury Cove out of everything he had flown over in PEI. So that's a new one on me because most of the time I'll show 20 or 30 properties, I'll show Sunbury Cove and they'll end up buying in Sunbury Cove. In fact, I had one client that bought waterfront somewhere else, saw Sunbury Cove and picked up an additional property. So it's, uh, it's worth checking out. Uh, Sunbury Cove, you just, you just, it's neat. You have to be there to appreciate it. The, uh, the best quote I received or testimonial was from uh, a lot buyer. She had looked at lots in there for over two years, finally purchased. Her quote was, uh, you know, just, it was something like, uh, once you visit Sunbury Cove, you'll want to stay there forever. Uh, so check it out. Uh, the neat history behind it is, it used to be the home of the, uh, the one and only uh, brick factory on the island at one time back in the 1700s, 1800s. It was a, it was a farm. Uh, there was also a cottage there in the 30s and 40s. Uh, there was a wharf down there. I mean, just all kinds of uh, really, really neat history. Yeah, when you walk around the property, you'll even see some of the old farming implements that were used uh, many, many years ago. In fact, there's one that's been there for so long that a tree is growing around it. So the property has created history, but of course what happened a lot in a lot of locations in PEI is the farms would close down uh, that were near the water because they didn't have electricity. So that's what happened. So this property was abandoned for 50 or 60 years. The, the road was basically had disappeared. You couldn't get a bicycle down it. So here sat a beautiful 272-acre um, parcel of land that was later surveyed down to uh, uh, what it actually is, this 240-acre parcel of waterfront that sat just outside Summerside for 50 or 60 years that no one even knew existed. I had driven by that road a thousand times and never even knew uh, it was a road. So. Uh, Bill Hernett came along, saw the, the potential in the property, purchased the property, uh, fixed up the road, put electricity down the road, 3.2 kilometers worth, telephone, and I can honestly say that every year it, uh, it improves a thousand percent, both the subdivision and the, uh, the access road and everything else. It's just an amazing, it's been just absolutely amazing seeing the project uh, 
uh, start from nothing back in 07 to what it is today in, uh, in 2010. The improvements have been uh, astronomical. Anyway, that's it for today. Check out sunburycove.com. Make sure you uh, join the mailing list, and uh, we'll talk to you later. Bye for now.